their top coat to seal the designs. <gasps> this looks so, so cute! And nails, right? I like how easy these were to make, plus no special... And she says they are easy! Let's try them! Really well. Make a few white touches. <laughs> so the easy. Use the dotting motion to draw some brackets and some C shapes around you the light blue patches. Make stop. a few dots here. Have you ever tried to paint your nails or make a pretty nail art design but things just wouldn't go as planned? I've been there so many times. But don't worry, today I'll show you lots of simple but mind blowing nail hacks that will change your life. Personally, I like decorating my nails with studs. However, if you don't have any nail art studs, you can use puffy paint instead. Sounds crazy, but hold on, I'll show you how well it works. First, I'm applying a coat of black nail polish on all of my nails. Grab some puffy paints. These ones come in convenient pen-shaped bottles, so they're really easy to use. Squeeze dots of puffy paint directly on the nail. On my middle and ring finger, I decided to make a stripe of colorful puffy dots. I love how these neon colors look against the black background. I kept the rest three nails simple with one puffy paint stud on each. <laughs> what a cool hack, right? I really like how weird and creative this idea is. Love it! There's something so elegant and special about matte nails. But what to do if you don't have a matte top coat? No problem, girl! You can use a matte decoupage glue. Apply your nail polish as you normally do. Now dip an old nail polish brush in Mod Podge with a matte finish. Apply that all over your nails. I know it looks crazy right now and you may think that you've just ruined your manicure, but don't stress. Give it a few minutes so the decoupage glue dries. It will become completely transparent, plus it will give your nails the perfect matte finish that you've been looking for. I didn't know I could use this on my nails. I'm so proud of my student. She's such a gem. I like making little drawings and doodles with colorful sharpies. But why is drawing with nail polish on nails so much more difficult than drawing on paper using sharpies? <laughs> well, actually, it doesn't have to be. You can use your sharpies to make so many pretty nail art designs and here I'll show you some of my favorites. Whenever you're painting your nails, start by applying a base coat. This will protect your nails from harsh chemicals, prolong the wear of the nail polish and overall keep your nails looking pretty and healthy. Now let's apply white polish to create a perfect blank canvas for our design. I have to make two coats to get a complete opacity. I'll show you how to make a beautiful watercolor design using Sharpies. Take any Sharpie or other permanent marker of your choice and color the bottom of the container, like this little glass bowl. Drip in one or two drops of rubbing alcohol. Next, take a small paintbrush, dip it into the Sharpie alcohol mixture and we're ready to paint. Using a gentle dabbing motion, apply the color on the nail. I'll make a three-color diagonal design, therefore I'm applying this pretty emerald color only on the bottom part of the nail like this. Time to get in with the second color and this time I went for this beautiful marine blue. This one will go diagonally across the middle of the nail. My last color is a bright fuchsia pink. Dilute the marker with a drop of rubbing alcohol, dip the brush in and let's color the last third of the nail. Remember that you can make this design as bright as you like. If you want more color, just build it up like I'm doing here. If you want a soft and gentle look on the nails, keep the colors more pastel by applying only one layer. When you're happy with how your design looks, apply a layer of top coat to protect it and give your nails a pretty shine. What I love the most with this nail art hack is that it simply can't go wrong. It's an abstract design after all, so you can apply the colors however you like and it will always look beautiful. I also adore the marble effect and the fact that you can make so many different variations of this design. Switch out the colors and boom, you have a completely new and unique manicure. Here I used only pink and green sharpies to create another gorgeous design. I think both of these are so perfect for this time of the year. 
You can also draw straight on the nail with your Sharpies. For the best color payoff, I recommend to start with white base. Now you can make any kind of drawing you like. I decided for simple horizontal stripes in variety of different colors. Yellow, green, emerald, blue, purple, hot pink and orange. Yep, I went all out. You could already stop here, apply your top coat and you'd be good to go. However, I'll show you a fun trick that will make this design even more epic. Dip a paintbrush in some rubbing alcohol and blend the colors together like this. <laughs> this is like magic, isn't it? Keep applying rubbing alcohol all over the nail and you'll get the beautiful watercolor effect that I adore. Needless to say, you can be so creative with this hack and make stripes, chevron pattern or any other design that crosses your mind. This one is so bright and fun, but on top of that, so simple to make. Seal it in place with a layer of top coat and you're ready to rock your cool rainbow nails. Aren't these so flipping adorable? I'm totally in love with the Sharpie nail art hacks and guess what? I have more of them to share. I saw this nail art hack on Pinterest a while ago and I thought I need to try it out. First, we have to make our nails super glittery. I decided to go for silver. Apply a layer of two of metallic silver nail polish. Now it's time for glitter, yay! I'm still obsessed with it, although I haven't showed it in videos a lot lately. This glitter polish contains variety of silver glitter in different sizes, from super tiny to chunkier silver pieces. Apply a few layers with a brush or a sponge until your nail is completely covered in glitter and looks like a giant sparkly diamond. Now for the awesome nail trick. Take a sharpie, I'm starting with yellow and color a stripe on the nail with it. I decided to make a diagonal stripe, but feel free to make any design you like. Take another color, for me it's orange and add another stripe. Keep doing this until your entire nail is covered. I also use pink, blue and green colors. To finish up this gorgeous creation, apply a layer of fast drying top coat. I love how you can see the glitter chunks through the colored filters made with sharpies. Such a genius idea and I'm so happy to finally try it out. I just love the retro 90s disco inspired vibe. Have you ever tried water marbling? I have, and honestly, it was pretty sketchy. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with it, so instead, I'll show you an easy alternative that turns out great every single time. I started with light blue nail polish as a base. On top, I applied a layer of darker blue nail polish. Take a piece of cellophane and scrunch it up in a bowl. While the dark blue polish is still wet, do a gentle tapping motion all over the nail like I'm doing here and as a result you will get a beautiful marble effect. Don't forget to apply a top coat for some extra shine and protection. Since I used light and dark blue colors, the end result looks like a surface of a swimming pool or ocean. So pretty and perfect for summer. Water marbling is so tricky and time consuming. Many times the polish won't spread on the water surface and you just end up wasting a lot of product. If you're great in water marbling, them props to you, but I'm definitely not. So for girls like me, this alternative to water marbling is just priceless. <gasps> My precious! Have you ever thought of using makeup products on your nails? I certainly did and they work wonders. Here I have a bunch of colored liquid eyeliners and guess what? They can totally work as nail art stripers. <laughs> yup, that's right, let me show you. I'm picking a yellow eyeliner and let's make a vertical stripe along the center of the nail. I'll add two light pink stripes on each side of the nail. Usually it's so hard for light colors like yellow or pink for example to look opaque on top of darker colors like blue. But these are 100% opaque with just one swipe. Amazing. Amazing. The important step is to seal everything in place with generous amount of fast drying top coat. This will lock the colors in place and the manicure will last you many days. No, 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 I can't believe this, this is genius! Same as with colored eyeliners, you can use black ones to create epic nail creations. I'm starting with a lighter pink base which will give a lovely contrast with black. Time to take a black liquid liner and we're not gonna use it for the eyes today, no no. Check out how well it works on the nail. I mean, this is pretty shocking if you ask me. I decided to go for a simple geometrical design with curved lines, dots and some crosses. But sky is the limit. You can literally use your eyeliners to write words, drawings, doodles, whatever your heart desires. Just don't forget to protect your masterpiece with a layer of top coat. Colored eyeliners, check. Black eyeliners, check. How about glitter eyeliners? Well, if you ask me, they work the best of them all. Glitter, duh. Let's color the nails in black to start off. Because is there anything prettier than glitter on the black background? Not really, right? I'll be using two colors of glitter eyeliners, silver and green, and I decided to make a gradient glittery tip design. Apply glitter in stripes of different lengths to the tip of the nail to create a pretty gradient effect. I feel like this would be such a gorgeous prom nail design. So easy to make, but looks super elegant and glamorous. 
you could already stop here because it already looks stunning. However, I decided to add a hint of green to it. Just a few swipes and dots of green here and there and the nails look even more rich and special. If you're making these nails for prom, a great idea would be to match the second glitter color to your dress. So if your dress is blue, go for silver and blue glitter. If your dress is red, choose red glitter eyeliner. In any case, make sure to seal your design in place with some top coat. It will bring everything together and give so much shine to it. Another makeup product that works wonders on the nails is liquid lipstick. This is a great trick for when you want to match the color of your lips to your nails. It's so difficult to find the exact same shade of lipstick and nail polish, so this hack is a perfect solution. Apply a layer of liquid lipstick to your nail. To finish up, use the top coat and lock the color in place. This step is absolutely crucial and will make sure your manicure lasts for days. I love this hack because it gives me so many more options to choose from when I'm deciding what color should I paint my nails. Here I tried painting my nails in purple and I love the result. I don't really own any purple polish like this, so this liquid lipstick is super convenient. First on the lips, now on the nails. Oh, this is brilliant! How about using pencil eyeliners and lip liners on the nails? You must think I'm completely crazy, but wait until you see this. Apply one or two layers of white nail polish on top of the base coat and we're ready to draw. Here I have a black pencil eyeliner, but we're not gonna use it on the eyes today. I'll use it to outline flowers on my nails instead. <laughs> Can you believe how easy and effortless this is? I feel like I'm drawing on paper, but no, this is an actual nail. <laughs> I honestly love how imperfect this looks, just like those doodles and sketches you draw on paper. The outline is finished, now we need to color our flowers up. We're gonna use a red pencil lip liner. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking this is the weirdest nail video I've ever watched. But hey, it's about to get even more weird. To make the design even more fun, I'll color the other two flowers with blue pencil eyeliner. This will make the design even more colorful and bright. How adorable! I love, love, love it! And to think how many different designs you can make using pencil eyeliners and lip liners. What an incredible life hack! Let's apply a layer of top coat to protect our creation and add a beautiful shine to the nails. I'm seriously obsessed with the retro look of this one, plus I love how unconventional and crazy it is. Eyeliners on nails, who the fuck? Glitter top coats can make any manicure way more special in seconds, and I'm about to show you how to make your own glitter top coat from scratch. Take a transparent top coat and open it up. Make a little funnel from a piece of cardboard paper and insert it in the opening of the nail polish bottle. Take any kind of loose glitter that you like, I went for silver and pour lots of it in the top coat bottle. When I say lots, I mean it. When it comes to glitter, it's always like this. The more, the better. Am I right? Here we have our DIY glitter top coat. Looks so pretty and wait till you see how well it works. The glitter I used is so beautiful. As you can see, the pieces come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Okay, let's test it out on the nails. Ooh, this literally works like a dream. I'm super impressed. You can apply the glitter on all your nails or just one or two fingers as an accent. That's exactly what I did and I love the result. So subtle, delicate and just totally adorable. I love the combination of silver glitter and these pastel blue nails. I get that frozen princessy vibes and I'm here for it. This eyeshadow surely looks great on the eyes, but you know where it looks even better? On the nails! Scrape some eyeshadow on a piece of paper like this. Alternatively, you can use loose eyeshadow pigment. Place a paper funnel in the opening of a transparent nail polish. Pour the eyeshadow or loose pigment in the bottle. Whoa, it's so beautiful to watch. It's like a pink rain. My eyes are blessed. I love looking at things like this. Maybe I should make an experiment video again where we could watch mesmerizing experiments together. Let's give our nail polish a little shake and this is what we end up with. A perfect pink nail polish. What a transformation, right? In the same way, you can make literally any nail polish color you like. You can even mix a few different shades or add some shimmer. My eyeshadow already was a bit shimmery, so I got a lovely metallic pink nail polish. And check out this amazing color payoff. I'm not kidding you guys, this nail polish works so well. Complete opacity in just one swipe. I am shocked. I also noticed that the polish dries up matte, which is so cool. Both glitter top coat and this eyeshadow nail polish left me speechless because they work so much better than I expected. 
I like making easy designs with metallic permanent markers. They are such a perfect tool for your nail art kit. Here I'll show you three easy ideas. For the first one, I'm starting with a black base. Now let's pick a silver metallic sharpie. I decided to draw on a heart exclamation mark. And to make the design a bit more full, let's draw some diagonal stripes inside the heart. So easy and super cute. All right, let's finish it up with a layer of top coat and we're good to go. For my second metallic sharpie design, I'm first applying a layer of deep burgundy pink nail polish. Now let's pick a gold metallic marker. Make an interrupted straight line down the middle of the nail. On the empty space, draw a little heart like this. Repeat the step on both sides of the nail, but instead of a heart, I simply drew a dot on the parts where the lines are interrupted. How cute! Finish the creation with a layer of top coat. For the third and last of the three metallic sharpie designs, let's color our nails with deep blue nail polish. Take a gold permanent marker and try to write a word along one side of the nail. I'm super basic, so I am writing the word love in cursive. Again, apply the top coat and we're all done. These three designs are so cute and you can make them on all your nails or only a ring finger for a lovely accent. This is how I usually like to use this hack. Drawing with colorful pencils is so easy. How fun it would be if we could use them to draw directly on our nails. You know what? It is possible. Yes, you heard me right. Come on, I'll show you how. Take a coloring pencil of your choice and dip the tip in some warm water. This will basically melt the color a bit, making it possible to draw on the nail. My first color was orange, next one is blue, so in the warm water it goes. Let's make a stripe close to the orange one. I want to keep things simple, so I'm going for an easy vertical stripes design. You want to do a gentle dabbing motion while moving along the nail. Since you have to be tapping the pencil in order to deposit the color, I suggest to only go for easy geometric designs using this technique. Complicated drawings would be kind of difficult to make. I tried to draw a rainbow and a cloud and honestly I failed miserably. <laughs> so yeah, go for a simple design and you'll do great for sure. You guys know the drill by now, we have to apply a layer of top coat to seal the design and make sure that it lasts us super long. As you can see, coloring pencils are not great only for drawing on paper, they were great on nails as well. In this video, I showed that craft supplies can easily become nail art supplies if you think outside the box. Washi or glittery tape like this is no exception. Let's apply a layer of nail polish as a base. I went for black, but you can pick any color you like. Now choose a craft tape of your choice. This pink glittery one looks perfect to me. Take your scissors and cut a little triangle piece. With help of tweezers, place a glittery triangle on the nail. Continue making more triangles like this in different colors. You can of course make your triangles as small or as big as you like, or you can even switch up the shape. Tapes. Lastly, you need to apply a layer of fast drying top coat to lock the tape pieces in place and bring the design together. What a unique and beautiful creation! Seriously? This is revolutionary! Mind blown! Painting your nails can be such a fun and creative thing to do, whether you use craft supplies, makeup, coloring pencils or simply nail polish. With an open mind, creative personality and a few crazy life hacks, your nails will be slaying like never before. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe here and my second channel for more happy videos. Love ya, bye!